I often think that I don't really have any advice to give at all. Everyone should find their own way, but that never really satisfies anyone. My advice is this to anyone who announces they want to be a writer. Well, for a start, nothing stops you. You cannot go around saying you want to be a writer. You can only go around saying, I am a writer. All you need is a block of paper and a pencil. What should you do? Well, my first piece of advice is this. Concentrate on the short story. Do not waste the next five years of your life writing an 800-page block of a novel that might well be a failure. Put your toe in the water gently. Uh, the short story is a very difficult form, hard to do well, but it is a wonderful laboratory. You can try out all the voices. You can consciously imitate those writers who seem to be breathing too passionately uh, down your neck. But a good short story, or even a bad short story, could only take you a week, three weeks, six weeks. You will not have wasted three years. From that, I would say that the next move would be to write a novella. Find the short story that you've written that seems to tug at your thoughts a little. There's something incomplete about it, something remaining to be developed and write the 140-page novel. Again, could take you a year, could take you six months. You might even get it all down in one delirious month. But it's a bit like building a tunnel. You need all these props um, at the beginning. Um, later on, you can take them out because there's maybe some kind of casing to deliver you to the place you want to be. The other bit of advice, I guess this is the third, I would say, you must dedicate yourself to keeping a journal. When I look into my own journals, uh, what fascinates me most about what was going on in my life 30 years ago are the things that we would consider the most mundane. What was I reading? Who was I talking to? What were the main subjects of conversation? Where you're living? What's on your desk? Who do you love? Even what you had for breakfast, it doesn't matter. The banalities actually begin to shine uh, after many years have passed. You don't have to write in it every day. Once a week would be fine. 500 words a week doesn't sound much, uh, but it really mounts up. That's 25,000 words a year. The terrible thing about life is that most of it is forgotten, and a lot of it is rich, and a lot of that richness can be retained for future use by an occasional excursion uh, into a notebook.